Getting the platinum on a LEGO game is normally an easy task. It basically feels like one big collectible grind with an extremely satisfying gameplay based on your favourite series. We're here on LEGO Avengers. Seeing as JC did the longest LEGO game on the channel, it was my turn for one, and according to PSM profiles, it would only take 40 hours. Make sure guys to like and subscribe if you haven't already, there's plenty more videos to come. We have 15 levels, the first being a tutorial, and the next 5 levels following the first Avengers movie, the next 6 follow Age of Ultron, and the 3 separate levels on the Winter Soldier, Thor Dark World, and Iron Man 3. As always with LEGO games, there are tons of mini kits, gold bricks, red bricks for all the extras, and Stan Lee's to rescue in this one as it is a Marvel game throughout the free roam city areas and the 15 levels. Two trophies that already popped for me that aren't shown are struck off the list for simply completing the first level, there is a trophy for completing every level in this game, and the True Avenger trophy for popping, you guessed it, the True Avenger stud bar on any level. Other than the first level, the first half of the game is based around the first Avengers movie. It starts off with the struck off the list as a tutorial level basically, and swiftly moves across to a Loki entrance, where Loki comes to Earth and begins to control S.H.I.E.L.D. agents and Agent Barton. You finish this level with a really fun driving segment too, before the trophy pops. Agent Williams, let's go. Random agent with a Gatling gun. <laughs> this doesn't seem safe! A Loki entrance. The trophy for the second level. Rao Hydra was the next level with a full flashback of Captain America's days before he was frozen in ice. Starts off in a boxing ring trying to save Stan Lee from a treadmill, onto searching for Red Skull and chasing down Zola on a train with Bucky, where we all know what happens to him. Who the hell is Bucky? Next level was one of my favourites, not just because of the name of the level, Shakespeare in the Park, mother know you weareth her drapes. but because we get a really good heli carrier section onto a decent length fight against Loki, and then into the third section of this level where it's all about Iron Man chasing down Thor in the park, and eventually firing Iron Man into a Lego cannon to complete the level. Where's this come from? Oh, we're gonna- No way, we're just literally a Captain America into Iron Man cannon. He just built a cannon! Shakespeare in the park. Level complete. What a great level that was. On to level 5 with the mission Heli Carrier Havoc, where it all begins fleeing from big old Lego Hulk as Black Widow. Moving through the main room of the Heli Carrier to try and defeat the mind controlled Hawkeye, dodging his arrows to land one of our own. With the final segment of this level was Iron Man and Captain America simply working your way through to re engage the downed engine. Heading towards the Battle of Manhattan now with the level Avengers Assemble. So with Loki and the Chitauri army flying in, we move through as Thor battling Loki, rescue a load of hostages as Capitano America, America, then we move through the final sector as Thor and Captain America on a bridge, basically waiting to hear from Bruce Banner. Bruce shows up and we get a nice quick trophy for simply transforming into Hulk, followed by the end of the level. Let's see this transformation. Let's see this transformation. Oh yeah. Lego transformation into Hulk. Ah, oh, so good. Always angry. <laughs> I got always angry as well. It quickly puts us into the final mission of the first Avengers film, Earth's Mightiest, where we basically just play as Hulk and smash everyone and everything for 15 minutes, including that very famous ragdoll of Loki. <laughs> I get to do the smacking! Yes! Yes! Oh, thank God they put that in the game. Earth's Mightiest. That's right. That's right. No Strings On Me is the mission where Ultron is born, rescuing our team as different characters while I'd argue probably the quickest level of the game. It took me about 10 minutes to finish it even on story mode. We take a quick break of the main set of Ultron story levels to try one of the bonus levels with the lack of insight. It's the entire Winter Soldier film summed up into three parts. Captain America's mission on the boat, trying to capture George St. Pierre, then blowing up a bridge downtown to try and capture the Winter Soldier, and ending with the epic scene where Steve refuses to kill Bucky. Back to the Age of Ultron story levels, and we're now in South Africa. Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are now with Ultron, whilst we trick Quicksilver into taking Mjolnir and defeat Scarlet Witch with Captain America's shield. The level ends with a really well done fight between Hulkbuster and Hulk, even includes the famous Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep! Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep! Go 
Career Prospect is the next mission where we start on top of a moving truck beating Ultron's drones, then tag teaming with the Scarlet Witch through a moving train to which eventually it does crash to a halt and pick up the pieces to finish the level. Rise of Ultron is the first part of the end story levels, with the Avengers on Sokovia. Instead of running from Hulk, we're now riding on his back, then destroying oncoming waves of Ultron's drones to ending the level in style as Thor blowing up a train. Ultron Undone is the final story mission where we actually get to fight the guy. We've unlocked the vision now and the whole level is based around the church scene in the film. Plenty of collectibles here but we're all about finishing the story for free play mode to unlock. Vision and the gang end up super lasering Ultron to his death and we're awarded the Ultron Undone trophy. Targeting all areas on the map, we go through the free roam areas a little bit, picking up some additional gold bricks. We also finally get around to creating our own custom hero for the Creator Superhero Trophy. Creator Superhero, that's what the trophy we wanted. And we've got Jeff. <laughs> then resuming with the free roam to grab the You Asked For It trophy for stopping 10 crimes in Manhattan in just one sitting. Okay, jumping back into the last two bonus levels, starting with Ready, Aim, Fire. Tony and Pepper under attack in their Malibu home into the segment of Iron Man 3 with Harley Keener and his little spud gun, fighting Aldrich Killian's top goon, Ellen Brandt. With the final section, the actual fight with Aldrich, to which pops our second to last level trophy. Lost in the Ether will complete all level trophies with Thor Dark World as the base, escaping the dungeons breaking all Dark Elves in that path, defeating a mini boss in Curse with the last segment of Jane Foster and Eric Selvig. We wait for Thor to swoop in and defeat Malekith to give us our last trophy from levels and into the full cleanup of collectibles and characters. And now all story levels have been completed, it is time for the miscellaneous trophies. So Lou Ferrigno, if I hold triangle and turn into the Hulk. Yeah, a startling metamorphosis. <laughs> the original Hulk. I love it, I love it. Our next trophy is for a custom character to hold Mjolnir. Now if we select custom G, wherever he will be. Seize the bomb G. Be worthy. Have a custom character have Mjolnir. Lovely. If we play as Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Daredevil and Jewel or Jessica Jones, we get the Defenders trophy as well. Just gotta play as all four. Okay, we are in Washington, so if we select Captain America Wha and we select Falcon, there's Falcon on your left. Woohoo! Another trophy, plays Falcon and Captain America in Washington. Nice. Okay, America Chavez. One. If we switch to Wiccan. That's two. Switch to Hawkeye Kate Bishop. Keep you, have a little shoot around, jump around, blah, 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 blah. Switch to speed. And finally, if we switch to Hulkling, who's here on the left. Young Avengers trophy. Plays all the Young Avengers. Woohoo! So let's grow Black Goliath and grow Ant Man. Woohoo! Oh yeah. And grow this bad boy. Look at that. Giant size Marvel trophy. Beautiful. Look at this. What a beast. Woo! Okay, so we play as Moon Knight. Switch to Moon. Or Moon Boy, sorry. Start. Then switch to Moon Knight. And then switch to Moon Dragon. Over the moon! The three moons. That is a weird looking guy right there. <laughs> Fast and the Furious. I actually didn't know this was going to pop at the time, but you just got to play as Quicksilver and Nick Fury at the same time. Nothing more. Next up was the Globetrotter Trophy, and that's just for discovering all the hub locations on the map, and it worked for me in one sitting. In one sitting, if we transform into every Iron Man variant, you do get another trophy. It takes a while. Is this going to be the last one, the Hulkbuster? Yes, it is. How is Party Protocol? Oh plays every Iron Man variant in one session. That's a lot of variants. Oh, we got it. If we drive Lola as Phil Coulson, we get the trophy, a funny thing happened. So we're playing as Tony Stark in the game. If we switch to Harley Keener, 
There you go, we get the trophy. We're connected. You have to just do that on every level but level 9. If we select Agent Coulson and just get killed quickly, we should get another trophy for dying as him. And come back to life. A magical place! Woohoo! Nice easy trophies. So we are now Union Jack for a second. And then switch to Agent Carter. Then move over to the Mandarin with Trevor Slattery and his footballs. And finally switch to Spitfire for stiff upper lip. Just play as those five characters at all. Not even in one sitting, just at all. Great. Okay, playing as Aldrich Killian. Die and respawn. Let's do it. And respawn. Pop it beyond. There you go. Nice easy trophy. Same as the Agent Coulson one. Just die as the fellow and come back. Okay, so if we purchase Hogan and play as him, and then switch to Volstag, Andrel, Warriors 3! Woo! Another trophy. Playing as Vision on both characters at the same time grants you another trophy as well. Got this one by accident. We then gather the last few collectibles on the last level of free play. Yes, 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 I know what you want. Create a crowbar. You said crowbar to Jimmy Opener coffin create a skeleton destroy skeleton grab head take back to collector get the final red brick Oof. lovely final mini kit and if we go this side all right we need captain america take out i can't it's, like, it's really good there's a giant pillar in the way so stanley should get free from that all 10 mini kits and the last two gold bricks so if i use stan lee now and hold triangle does he turn into hulk buster stan lee <gasps> stan buster excelsior hulk iron stan okay we've got to use this for the trophy oh my god look how amazing that looks hulk buster stan lee oh i am iron stan and he's got a pencil I love it. I love it. Okay, you can see here we have 100% of the game. Every statistic maxed out. I'm so proud of that. Let's go buy all the red bricks. Get that trophy for activating them all at the same time. If we turn them all on in extras. Crack studs. All the studs on. Fast fix on. Character token on. Gold brick on. I mean, a lot of these don't mean anything once you complete the game. You already have them anyway. A bit annoying. Going nowhere. Come on. Come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now we have all the comic books. We just have to read all of them for getting all the mini kits. And the final book. Perfect. Yep, just perfect. I'm so glad. <sighs> Nearly there. The final trophy of the game was to activate the 100% stud fountain in the Avengers Tower. You need 100% of the game, obviously, and this was the last one to get before the plan. This is the fountain. I think this is it. I'm gonna pull it. Doesn't look like a fountain. Oh, but it is! I'll do it myself. Gold trophy. We know what's coming. We know what's coming. Peace in our time. Platinum, finally. Took me too long to do this one, but I really enjoyed this game. Really enjoyed a Lego game for once. So, great game, man. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Thanks for the continuous support from our patrons and channel members. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the two videos on screen right now, and we will see you in the next one. Cheers, all.